Okay, you can see in the leaves in the, in the background and the trees there. That is a big problem on this roof. So the leaves will then collect in this uh, trough area, in this uh, basin, and water will still be able to escape from this roof. It will not pond over this whole area here. And that is the whole idea. The idea is to have a, low, a drain lower and a big basin like that to catch all the leaves and the debris and then you don't have a flooded roof. Um, how to lower this drain and so first we have to get the water off and we use a squeegee we use a squeegee and get most of the water off. It rained last night and uh, after we got all the seared and all the dirt, this is a torch down modified by Tuman roof. And it's very nicely torched, but the people took a shortcut, whoever installed it. You can see the wrinkles. Everywhere there's wrinkles like this. Look at this wrinkle. Okay. What happens is it pulls out from the side here. We already repaired the side. See the side here? It pulled away from the flashing. You can see how it pulls here. Look at the wrinkles here. Okay? And uh, if you see this on a roof, it's because they never used a base. They torched this roof straight to fiberboard or whatever on the layman they used, but they didn't torch it to a base. A modified by Tumen torch down roof have to be torched to a base, either a fiberglass base or a self-adhering base, and it gives that stiffening factor so it doesn't shrink or wrinkle like this. Very, very important. When you see wrinkles like this, it was, there was no, there was no underline, uh, underlayment, and that's a big problem. So it's a good roof, but it causes problems when they don't install it correctly. First thing is we cut the membrane open here. We're doing like a five by, this is like five by five section here. That's what we're doing. Now let me show you about, let me show you about the underlayment. See, this roof was torched. Hold on a moment. See this roof? There's no underlayment, it's just a rubber. There's no base paper or nothing to this. And you can see the seams was half torched. You can see the seams there. And this is wet. This is wet. Look at that. Wet. And that's what damages the roof, the underlayment. That's wet. Yeah, it's coming loose from the drain here. Not well attached either. Not a good job. So that's what happens when people don't know what they're doing. The drain was higher and it's all wet underneath it. I broke the extension. <sighs> this was this was the extension there. So I'm gonna try and take this extension out so to make it much lower. Okay. That's the extension to the pipe. Alright. Cutting the roof, the old roof. I'm cutting it here. Right there. The rubber membrane, we got the rubber membrane removed, we got the underlayment removed, and then we got the old tar roof cut out already. So now what's left is the insulation here. So we're gonna remove that. Good. Cut that open. Uh, to go down. Sometimes you only have an inch, an inch and a half, you have to cut through the uh, substrate, which is the fiber, uh, plywood or a tongue roof board, and you have to reframe something. So, so this is an easy job today, where we can just uh, remove the insulation and lower the drain. Very, very, very easy. We do is to cut the insulation, we heat up a trowel because it's much easier. Okay. I'd like to say
area cleaned out. And this is the cast iron pot. I don't know if you can see it. This is a cast iron pot with the eye uh, tabs on it. Ah. Okay. <laughs> This clean, we'll cut the tabs off. Now, these tabs, this will fold in there like that. There, go. Right there. Okay. Somewhere here, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to do this to protect this. This is my base. Uh, I'm using a membrane for a base, not, not a base. So. Okay. Now, this, all right, the difficult, this is the difficult part, see, that's it, oopsie, Okay, there you go. So far, so. Okay. See the solar paint? That's that's a no-no. That's aluminum paint. So I removed that by heating this up and. Make sure I got a fairly clean surface. And so you clean off the paint and dirt of the existing roof. So I got this uh, drain lower, and this is a strainer. So it's about six inches lower than before. When this fills up with leaves and debris here, uh, the water will rise and still get over the top here. That's the idea of this drain. When debris collects in this area, even this high, even this high, water can still get into the drain so this can fill up with a lot of debris and it gives the owner time to come and clean out this drain clean out this basin uh, with all the leaves there you can see in the leaves in the in the background and the trees there that is a big problem on this roof so the leaves will then collect in this uh, trough area in this uh, basin and water will still be able to escape from this roof. It will not pond over this whole area here. And that is the whole idea. Idea is to have a, lower, a drain lower and a big basin like that to catch all the leaves and the debris. And then you don't have a flooded roof. Okay, all done now. All right, this was a Roof basin well done. Took a long, took us like four hours, four or five hours. Maybe not, three, four hours, yeah. All right, we're all done.